Okay, let's start off at the front. So, one feature of this vehicle when Sir James Radcliffe made it was this bumper. Now, this bumper serves as obviously a bumper, but also as a seat that you can sit on. And it's a very, very comfortable seat. When you're doing things outside, just to sit, eat your lunch or watch something, very, very good. So I do like the bumper, even though the styling of the bumper I wasn't sold on at first. The usability of it has sold it for me. The next thing I like is I do like this traditional Land Rover shape. Okay, these panels just reminds me of that Land Rover and the flat screen. I've always liked this part of the vehicle. The headlights are, let me wipe them. They are very, very, very good. And if you haven't checked out already, check me a video out about the lights because I've done a detailed lighting video. So I like the lights. Now, these lights, I do like the look of them, but I would like to change them to the upgraded one which i have seen on the internet and they look a lot lot better so they, they're good they do a good job but design wise unlike these the design's not quite as good the other thing i really like is the way you can attach things so obviously these here are for a snorkel You've got these good grab rails here. Now, these will actually come silver. We had them powder coated to black the vehicle out more. So that's what we did. We took these off, sent them to a powder coater, and they done that. But I do like the fact you've got good, sturdy grab handles. We don't have the uh, optional uh, slide rails to add things. We didn't need them. But they do... I do understand why some people who are actually using it for like a expedition type uh, reasons would want to put extra fuel cans, etc., etc. But I do like the design of having them there, and I do think it looks good. Going around the back, what I like is I think the tyre being on the back, like the traditional uh, Defender, is lovely. I prefer having a split door than a single door. Unlike the old Defender, as you all know, the solid door, they did tend to drop. This door has been absolutely bulletproof. The ladder, having one that comes, is just, is just so strong. And if you need to stand up there and you need to do anything, it is a really, really good feature. I like the rear lights. And I like the rear bumper. So the way the bumper is, it's nice and sturdy, strong, you can stand on it. The way the tow bar and the hooks is perfect. And the electrics, I do like how the trailer electrics are nice and neat, out of the way. Things I don't like is, that, like I've said on other videos, if you haven't seen it, the towing video, this should be in the centre in line with the tow bar, okay? Because when you're trying to hit a trailer, you're effectively looking at that angle. So from my point of view, I would prefer that to be different, okay? The under panel protections are good. The mud guards are good. Unlike the old Defenders, if anyone's had one, these being formed like this, instead of being a dangling bit of rubber, what used to happen with the Land Rover ones is as you went along and kept going along, eventually they'd stay there. So they started off being where they needed to be, and by the end of it, they were here. So I do like the side steps on this car, the simplicity. Unlike some other manufacturers which make them integrated and look nice, I don't like the fact that if I damage that, I can't replace it easily. So that is a big, big plus for me the simplicity of being able to change things. And that's with everything. So the mirrors, you can just tell you could do it yourself. They are too small, in my opinion. That's just my opinion. Um, so, yeah, they're the main features on the exterior that I like. I like the look overall and the in-depth things I've said. So thank you for watching, and we'll do an interior video very, very soon.